Let's do this. Let's do this. You can feel the excitement with the Super Bowl right around the corner. Hi and good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Gartalia. We are live at the NFL Experience here in Phoenix. We're a little more than 48 hours away from kickoff, Yuki, and the convention center is packed with football fans. We've seen a lot of Eagles fans soaking up the fun and the sunshine here. I'll have more on the scene around town today in just a minute. But the real spot that we are really keeping an eye on is about 20 miles from here at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. And that's where the birds will take on the Chiefs in Super Bowl 57 on Sunday night. Our team has every angle covered heading into the Super Bowl Sunday. Don Bell, our sports director, is here with me in Phoenix. He will have the very latest on the team's last minute preparations. And of course, Brandon Golder will show you how fans are stocking up for Super Bowl parties. We're going to hear from all of them in a minute. Right now, let's go back to the party in Phoenix. Yeah, Yuki, so just outside the fan experience is where all of the media are set up to cover all of the events leading up to the big game on Sunday. You never know who you might see there. Photojournalist Casey Kuhn and I were on a mission to find everyone. Eagle. Former Eagles running back and Villanova grad Brian Westbrook on the floor of what's known as Radio Row here at the Super Bowl. You have been through this. For any of those players that have never been through all the hoopla and all of this excitement, what advice would you give them? You know, try to continue your routine, um, continue to uh, keep things in perspective. It's just football. You've been playing football all year long and you've been doing it at a high level all year long. Do those things that, that got you here. More than just radio, former Eagles LaShawn McCoy on TikTok and our own Nate Burleson's daughter Mia on Nickelodeon. It's really exciting because um, he's always been doing um, stuff outside of home and I've been watching him and it's been really cool to see all these cameras surrounding him and then being able to be in front of the camera is really cool too, knowing that I'm like next to him in this and it's a really fun journey to be with. Nickelodeon fans know young Dylan, who's a huge Eagles fan. So final score, 34-31, a great game because both teams have talent on both sides of the ball, but Eagles are pulling it out. It's 34-31, Eagles up, a very high scoring game. It's going to be crazy, and hey, you definitely going to get the Jason Kelsey and Miles Sanders. Oh, 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 yeah. Even a fake Andy Reid on the floor. I love Eagles fans, especially that guy. I've got you, guy. The guy that held up the sign that said, let's trim the fat and fire Andy. Yeah, I know who you are. <laughs> and Eagles Hall of Fame quarterback Donovan McNabb with high praise for our current QB, Jalen Hurts. I'm expecting him to be business as usual. Everything that we've seen all season. I'm expecting him to be that guy. I don't expect anything out of the ordinary. Um, and that's the thing about Jalen. He's consistent. Hey, look who I found, guys. Some Eagles fans from Northeast Philly. When did you guys get in? Oh, my Lord. Last night. Let me think about that for a minute. And it's been a party ever since. 